tell you a little story. One day we were on the tour back in the day and it was the day we got a phone call. Guys, you're rich. Took ourselves down to 47th Street Manny's, the big music store, and we just bought everything inside. I got that Stratocaster, I got this Roland amp here, and what, very importantly, this uh, Space Echo, the chorus. Sting and Andy got, you know, the Taurus bass pedal, they just all the shit. And we took this truckload of new gear out to Long Island to my father's place for the sound check from hell. <laughs> And they were playing with their new bass amps and the new bass, and I'm on drums supposedly, you know, but I had my, put an echo on the snare drum just because, you know, I want to play with the toy. And so was born, uh, you know, from that afternoon at my father's place, a whole delay line vocabulary. This here is the amp I had in college, recorded my first records on it, Clark Kent. Um, then I lost it for many years and my, I was broken hearted. It was in an old curved air flight case. But what's in, in all is a, whoa, there it is. I burst into tears. Because at a certain point, you know, you're chasing the new technology and you want the latest stuff. But at a certain point, you realize that that Marshall stack, it just has been there. This thing has played some blues, you know, tears, sweat, toil, hearts broken to the music that came out of that thing. These antiques, I mean, they've, they've been around. They have, they, have, they have sung. And so the old gear really, really gets me. That Marshall stack there took me ages to find. I could have carried that thing up the stairs to Kluke's clique in London, you know, to, you know, supporting Deep Purple or something, you know. Cool thing about fretless is you can hit a note and then renegotiate. As I said to Yo-Yo Ma, <laughs> there's a lot of mojo in instruments, a lot of voodoo, a lot of feeling of where it's been, and um, because music's like that, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm not superstitious or anything like that, but I will allow a little bit of voodoo when it comes to musical instruments. Sting gave me this, horrendously out of tune, and just the, it's the same strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, but wrong octaves. So any chord you played, it just changes the voicing of it. And that same old E chord, that's way out of tune, turns into a completely different chord. Very cool. His daughter, Coco, this is her axe of choice. This guitar here has a sticker in there, which identifies it as being from apostrophe 98. And that's not 1998, that's 1898 in the year of our Lord. Um, that is a very old guitar, domestic grade guitar, but every guitarist who walks in here and they genuflect before it, yes, and then they play upon it. And uh, when they do, I could swear we all agree that there is something, there is, you know, it's, it's a crap domestic grade guitar, but there's a little something to it. A little bit out of tune. But hey, we're into jazz now, so who cares? This here, this is the breakthrough of jazz. Uh, I did a jazz tour one year, the Jazz Festivals of Europe. Ah, oh, what fun that was. Jazz is more fun to play than it is to listen to. Jazz fans are the best fans. They will t sit there and take it. All the stuff that us pop musicians had to learn to discipline ourselves to be, in, you know, as drummers, support of the song, support of, you know, you're a piece of, a, of, a, of one thing. In jazz, you just go for it all the time. And people pay money to be subjected to this complete onslaught of every chop you ever wanted to play, but were too, you know, disciplined to play. But the problem that I have with jazz is not the tradition of jazz, the thing itself known as jazz. With jazz, 90% of it's bullshit. That 10% that isn't is worth it. It's, it really is something. It, it gets to a place that music aspires to get to. But 90% of it, I'm here to tell you, I've been playing music for 60 years. And you can't fool me with that stuff. By the way, all you jazz fans out there, you, you have a, you have a, he's doing, a, he's, he's doing his best. <laughs> A valiant effort to That's defend it. your honor. You're not getting laid. You're hardly getting paid. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade to any conversation to dump on jazz. 
<laughs> and I found all the chrome, which had been removed, because back in the day when men were men, and bass players were fucking bass players, they used to pick. You know, any dinner party can be enlivened by dropping such a comment as, well, you know, the problem with jazz musicians is that they all suck. When was the last time you played a holiday in? You know, I, uh, a guy can dream. <laughs>